Hi, this is Saksham and welcome to this video in which we are going to install the latest version of CentOS. And yes, I'm pretty excited to install CentOS 9, which is going to be all around in 2022. So uh, before you get started with the installation, I just wanted to tell you that I'm going to install this CentOS 9 over the VirtualBox uh, in my operating system, of course. And now if we if we talk about CentOS.org, then CentOS is giving you a lot of options right there. Let's go ahead and explore them before you get started with the installation of CentOS 9. Uh, so if we talk about the CentOS, uh, the normal version of CentOS, uh, then you can see that uh, they are coming up with two variants, uh, the eighth version and the seventh version uh, but if you think about installing the eighth version of CentOS then you can see uh, that EOL that is end of life is coming very near of eighth version of CentOS that is 31st December 2021 and right now we are moving towards 2022 within few days from now and uh, if you talk about seventh version of CentOS then it is widely used into the corporate sector uh, which is why the EOL life is much greater of CentOS seventh version uh, that is June 30th 2024 but if we talk about the latest version because right now in this video I'm going to give you the most updated content which means we are going to get started with the installation of ninth version of CentOS uh, which is released just few days back from now uh, and this is all here CentOS 9 is all here to treat your 2022 much better so you can go ahead and you can also see that EOL is end of uh, you know life is here with full support phase of CentOS 9. Uh, so you can go ahead and uh, click on this first link in order to download the ISO. In order to save the time, you can see that over the desktop, I have already saved ninth version of uh, CentOS. Uh, so now you're gonna go, go ahead and get started with the installation of CentOS over our virtual box. Now, if you don't know about what VirtualBox is and what exactly the virtualization is, go ahead and try my previous video about what is virtualization. And in case if you are new here on this YouTube channel, we talk about tech, uh, so consider subscribing. So let's go ahead and get started with the installation of CentOS. So first of all, I'm going to click on new and here I'm going to write here as cent uh, underscore OS 9 and now you can see that it is following the architecture of Red Hat. Uh, I mean all the architecture that is being followed by CentOS 9 is exactly like the Red Hat but Red Hat is the paid edition you can say or the corporate edition you can say uh, but for free you can use CentOS 9 which pretty much follows and looks like exactly with the architecture of Red Hat Linux operating system. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead and uh, you're gonna install the CentOS 9 with Red Hat 64 but the type is going to be Linux and uh, make sure you see the machine folder because all of your .vbox or whatever the output you are getting after installing this, the output will be exported into this machine folder. So you're going to click on continue, you're going to give it some uh, good amount of RAM that is uh, nearby around 3 GB and uh, make sure you keep a little bit of room of the screen space so that it doesn't get suffocated and it doesn't uh, you know slows down your primary operating system. You're going to click on create a virtual hard disk now in order to you know, install your very wonderful CentOS 9 uh, which is previously released and we all are excited uh, to install this. So I'm going to click on uh, create and then uh, like I told you the output that you are about to get in VDI, VHD, VMDK. So this is basically a format of virtualization that you can import later on uh, whenever you see that your operating system got corrupted into the virtualization or maybe uh, into the virtual box you can keep a safe backup of that in .vdi format and then can import that file within few seconds uh, but anyways since we are installing it with the help of ISO so we are gonna go with the basic methodology that is VDI and I'm gonna click on continue the space I'm going to give is dynamically allocated uh, because I'm not giving the fixed space uh, because uh, we are going to go ahead and install uh, some of the tools into the upcoming videos as well. So make sure you are not running out of space. Uh, so I'm going to go with the dynamically allocated option of the space. I'm going to click on continue and now you can see that I need to give the file location and size which is really very important out there. I recommend nearby 20 GB or somewhat like 18 GB is enough uh, because you know it is comfortable in installing some new tools as well uh, they are going to be helpful over here but if you are going to give the exact size then you might can face the problem related to file location and size you're going to click on create and now you can see uh, uh, 
you can see that the CentOS 9 is right here. I'm gonna click on start and then it is going to prompt me that, hey, it's empty. So now you can see that we have the option to import our .iso file, which is already there on my desktop. I'm gonna click on CentOS and I'm going to click on open. I'm going to choose this and I'm going to click on start. So as you can see that this is the first screen uh, with few options out there, uh, like installing CentOS Stream 9, I test this media and install CentOS Stream 9 and troubleshooting. We are gonna go with the first option, uh, the basic one. And now it is going to check my hardware if everything is fine uh, to run the CentOS over the virtualization. Uh, so let's wait for the couple of uh, check and test by my virtualization or you can say the virtual box. So let's wait for a few seconds and you can see that our uh, installation has uh, just now begun. Uh, we are starting with the installation, but now we are going to go with some prerequisites that must be, uh, you know, coming up in a few seconds from now. So let's wait for a few seconds uh, till it is completed. Okay, so now you can see the gray screen in here. Uh, okay, so this is how the CentOS 9 looks like. Pretty neat, pretty amazing. And now look at the efforts that they are giving for all the communities out there. I'm really happy to see the multiple options of language likewise, uh, especially for the Indians here. Now you have, uh, you know, I'm gonna capture it. Okay, so now you have the options in Hindi. You also have the option in English, uh, Marathi, uh, Punjabi, Gujarati, and the wide range of varieties that they have given us uh, into the option uh, right here. But I'm gonna go with the English because it is easier to, you know, um, give the steps or, you know, if I wish to install and if I wish to make some configurations out there, then, you know, English is quite easy to follow. So I'm gonna go with English Indian option. And now you can see that I need to just make some few final changes before I get started with the latest OS 9 of CentOS. So the keyboard is fine by default. It is using English India with rupee. And installation source, let's have a look at this. Uh, okay, so it's gonna be the local media because it's related to software. The important part about installation media is here, right here in the system side. So you're gonna click on installation destination, uh, click here and then remember we have allocated 18.67 GB of uh, virtual hard disk that we have just now created into the starting while giving uh, the space uh, so that this is going to be our clone hard disk inside the virtualization. I'm going to install my CentOS 9 inside this uh, virtual space that we have given inside the virtualization. I'm gonna click on done and now let's see, it says no disk selected. I'm going to select it again. It happens few times that even if after selecting it, it doesn't get selected. Uh, so make sure you select it once again and you're gonna click on done. And now you're gonna go ahead and set your root password and make sure you quickly check if your time and date zone is all fine. And let's go ahead and set the root password. So I'm gonna set the root password in here. Uh, I'm gonna retype it once again. And then I'm gonna click on done. And now you can see that, uh, make sure before you get started, uh, just uh, review your network and host settings as well. Uh, make sure ethernet is selected in here. And then click on done. And then you can, uh, you can go ahead and click on begin installation. And let's wait for a few minutes till our installation is uh, coming up there into the progress. All right, so you can see that it took me about 10 minutes in order to complete this complete installation. Now it is asking me to reboot the system. Uh, so I'm gonna click on reboot system and let's see how it is going to look like. Okay, so now we have two options. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the first one, the 9 CentOS. So let's have a look at the first feel and the first look of CentOS 9. That is the most updated one. Okay, so it is asking me to do a quick uh, start setup. So I'm gonna click on start. Uh, location services, I'm gonna turn them off. Uh, click on next. I'm not going to attach my online accounts for now. I'm gonna click on skip and about me. So let's go ahead and write here my username. 
uh, Saksham and let's click on next. I'm going to set a password. Like I told you, if you are not going to add a new user, it is automatically ask you to add a new user. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set the password of this new user. And I'm going to click on next from here. Now it says all done. Start using CentOS. Well, so this first look looks lovely. I really love this wallpaper design in here. And uh, now you can see the welcome to Red Hat Enterprise Linux. I'm going to click on no thanks. So this is how uh, the first feel of CentOS 9 looks like. Uh, which looks really great out here and you can see the apps and show applications these activities it is uh, very handy out there it has given the multiple desktop screens activities you can trace them very quickly i'm going to click ahead and go ahead and click my firefox just for a quick review that how exactly this latest uh, centos 9 is looking like uh, so i'm going to wait for a few seconds till my firefox opens up and it is showing me the exact right time and right date. So I'm gonna see on to the activities. Uh, so now you can see that uh, you can also import uh, this Mozilla Firefox from this screen to this screen as well, uh, which is quite cool out there. And now you can see that on your full screen, all you have is this Firefox. So uh, you can also go ahead and check out if your uh, Google is working so a lot of people are using google.com just to see if their internet is working so it's all working fine I really uh, like this interface so far but I'm going to explore this more and we are going to learn more about Linux in upcoming days so that was all about the installation and first look and first feel of CentOS 9 along with the complete installation guide on VirtualBox so that's it for this video I'll see you again tomorrow with another video